Hello everyone, Shindo being here playing some more Warhammer combat cards. And here I will be introducing the newest warlord to enter the game for the Necron faction. We have Nemesor Zandrek, new Necron warlord. Uh, at 30 points, he is uh, kind of in between the two other Necron warlords in terms of cost. He has pretty good uh, stats, I think. And his trait is outflank. And his special rule departs from the uh, Necron special rules of the past, which only activated when you um, readied your units. But this one activates uh, each turn. It either provides a melee or ranged buff to all of your deployed units. But which buff you get is just uh, random. Depends on how he's feeling, <laughs> the Warlord. Uh, nice model there, looks like he's doing a dab, so yeah, good pose. And yeah, let's go ahead and test him out in see him in action. Got him teamed up with uh, some powerful Necron bodyguards here, the Transcendent Katan. Got the Katan Shard of the Deceiver, got a Plasmancer here as well as a Cryptek to heal up um, the units. Now, Nemesor Zandrek actually has a very interesting trick up his sleeve, which I want to show you here in-game. Spoiler alert, it's uh, pretty unique, so if you play this game and want to be surprised, I'd advise you to just uh, go ahead and try him out yourself. Uh, but if you just want to watch it here, then continue watching. We are playing against... Eldar, Fury of the Craft World. Let's see, level 4, that's pretty powerful. So, I'm gonna do what people sh never should do in this game and deploy my Warlord first because I want to show you this little trick he has. It's pretty cool. The enemy has the um, initiative, so they're attacking first. And boom, our warlord just disappears, explodes, he didn't die, but he was replaced by his loyal bodyguard and protector here in the middle, Vargard Oberyn. Pretty cool looking guy. So he came in and took the damage that um, Zandrek was supposed to take, and yeah. I mean, his stats are not that great, but it is an extra, like, a free card that comes with the deck. And he's able to protect your Warlord from that first source of damage, it looks like. Um, we can see that our units are getting the melee buff at the moment. So, however, the enemy does have a lot of damage. Well, we'll go ahead and we'll go melee here for now. And we'll see how Zandrek is feeling if he decides to give us a ranged buff instead, but it looks like it is staying with melee damage for the time being. And, huh, I'm not entirely sure how that uh, Wraith Guard just died. Okay, so yeah, you can see that Zandrek is now in my hand again with full health because he did not take any of that damage. Now there was a pretty major bug when he was released and it looks like it just swapped to range damage. So we will go ahead and do a ranged attack here. Um, yeah, big bug that made Zandrek actually indestructible. Uh, the enemies would just not attack him. He was just that awe-inspiring, I guess. But I think they might have fixed it. I do want to test it out here, though I'm not sure if I'll be able to because the Fury of the Craft World is just so strong it might just kill him outright. I don't want to lose the battle because this is ranked mode. Um, doing some decent damage. It looks like the Avatar will deploy now, the enemy warlord. But I do want to test it out, see if our warlord still is indestructible or if he has become mortal again now they do have some really strong units here 
And I think we just swapped. I don't even know which buff we're getting now because we're getting feared as well. It looks like we have the range buff. It is kind of hard to tell which buff we're getting. Um, yeah, visually it's just kind of hard to see. You can always um, tap on the card and and check that way. But it'd be nice if there was a, a little bit easier way. Let's see how much uh, damage this thing is doing. The solitaire. Quite a bit of damage there. Um, yeah, I, I do want to whittle down the Warlord a little bit before deploying my <laughs> Warlord here. Don't really want him to die in like one or two hits. So. Yeah, I think we'll be good. Let's see here. If I go range, that is quite a bit of damage. Uh, will I be able to win? You know what? I'm going to ready here. I'm gonna ready, and then we're gonna get some of our bodyguards killed. We'll deploy Zondrek and see if he can survive, I guess. That's not really a very solid plan. Um, in fact, I might have just cost me the game. Let's see, how much damage? Okay, 127... Ooh. You know, I might I might just lose here, but it'll be worth it. Just because I want to see if he can take damage. Zondrek, you can do this. All right, here we go, ranged. Enemy gets that buff, Fury of the Craft Roll now does a massive amount of damage, and yes, Zondrek is in fact mortal. The enemy has 142 damage, so it looks like we are going to lose. So, I can confirm that. I could have won that game easily, of course, and I just lost 75 rank points, sadly, but uh, it looks like they did get rid of that buff, which is good to know. Did not really want to be fighting against an immortal Necron Warlord. But yeah, very interesting new mechanics that they've introduced with this Warlord. I'm really uh, excited about this creative direction they're going in. And looking forward to future warlords. Looks like they're just filling up the um, the factions that uh, did not have um, as many warlords. So Necrons only had two up until now. That they now have three. Tau still only have two. Um, Eldar had two until recently. Now they have four. So yeah, we're seeing lots of new warlords into the game, coming into the game, which is. Uh, yeah, very exciting. So, uh, let me know what you think of this new Necron Warlord. And, uh, yeah, uh, let me know in the comments. As always, hold on. Oh, and here we have, yep, extra copies of him in the shop. Um, <laughs> I do want to level him up, but, yeah, uh, well, I'll think about it. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll see you next time.